Mina, but also that of countless others across the world. Who knows what terrors still lie out there in the dark of the night. We must use our science and logic in the, to combat our foes in the same way that we combat the diseases of the mind and body. For that is what they are, my friends. They are diseases. My dear Anna, it was so good to hear from you again. I'm glad that Jack is settling into his new vocation. Rochester is such a lovely city. Jonathan and I enjoyed ourselves so much the last time we visited. The castle and the wonderful cathedral. It was whilst walking through the lovely grounds that my mind wandered and I began thinking of Lucy. Please forgive me. Such memories bring a tear to my eyes. Lucy would have loved being there, and I know that if she were here, she would wish both you and Jack all the happiness. And the time when we sat alone, and I emptied my soul onto your shoulders still remains with me. Your kindness and understanding meant so much to me. It is with regret that I now burden you. It is something I dare not share with Jonathan. I love him so much. And all the heartache he had during our encounter with Dracula, I could not put him through more. It is the fact of late that I have been dreaming of the time when we faced that demon and when my very soul was in jeopardy. I still dream of the castle and him. Is my soul still tainted? I strive to be a good wife and mother to our dear Quincy. One question still haunts me, even after all these years, for an evil that has lived beyond death for so long. Did we really destroy it? Or does it linger still? Now that Quincy has gone off to boarding school and Jonathan's away often with his work, these fears press on me more and more. Is something wrong with me? No, my love. It was just a dream. That was all. Good morning, my dear. I must go into town today and see Mrs. Ferryman. The sun is rather poorly. Is that from Mina? Yes, she sends hers and Jonathan's regards. Quincy's at boarding school and Mina's missing him terribly. She always did have a good heart. Well, I must be off. Goodbye. My dearest Mina, I was so glad to hear from you. I'm glad that your time here brought you and Jonathan so much joy. I'm honoured that you shared your experiences of those dark times with me. Jack rarely talks to me about that time, and I do not press him as it still hurts him. I'm saddened that you're having these nightmares again. Please rest assured that the evil you vanquished is gone forever. God, in all his wisdom, will never let such good souls as you and your husband go through such torment. <laughs> 
Van Helsing is visiting us in September. It would be so good if you and Jonathan came for a visit to come and see him. I'm sure that you'll set your mind. They think they can thwart me? My revenge shall be eternal. What is your name? Asha. What do you want of me? It's been so long since I've tasted one so young. Your blood will have been elixir too. You will be my emissary. You will go and bring my enemies to me. of use, my dear. When she brings Mina back to me, the others will follow. And Van Helsing? He will come here once more. He slaughtered my sisters as I slept. He thrust the stake into their hearts and cut off their heads. Do you not feel anger towards him or all of them? I felt every thrust, every cut, and they were all paid for what they did. Then why have you waited for so long? To <laughs> death, question me. Do not forget that it I have saved you from that life. And I can take it away if you question me again. Forgive me! No, go. She'll wake soon. My dear Jack, Terrible fear has been circling in the back of my mind, and I, I think we ought to uh, speak of times past. I feel that we should bring back that grand, uh, brave band once more. I know it will bring a dark message and dark uh, remembrances for Madame Mina, and maybe stress for your so good wife. My dear Van Helsing, I must admit it has been troubling me of late, and I dare not speak of such things to my dear wife. You will recall the last time you visited the castle, there was an eerie fitting to the place even after all those years. Both Jonathan and Mina have consented to come down whilst you are here, and this afternoon I go to visit Arthur. You know it's been many years since we have spoken. He's still haunted of memories of dearest Lucy. You couldn't wait to kill me once I'd chosen Arthur, could you? You couldn't have me for yourself and no one could. And you took that away from me, made sweet Arthur stick that stake here. And now I'm rotting in my grave. But my master will have his revenge. Lucy. Please forgive me. Van Helsing, we are not out of the fire as we had hoped. A strange thing happened to me the other day. 
As I was passing by the cathedral, I heard my voice, my name called clearly. Jack! Yet when I looked around, I just saw a young woman who couldn't have called my name so vigorously. Yes, my dear, what can I do to help you? It's my poor son, sir. He's been taken ill. Can you come and see him? I followed her home, but I... I can't remember anything after that. These last three days have been a strain. My visit to Arthur was troubling. Ah, my dear Jack, it has been too long. Far too long. How are you, Arthur? Uh, very well. How's your good wife? Uh, fine. Look, the reason I've come to see you is that both Van Helsing and I believe our troubles with Dracula are not over. Please, do not bring that up. The memory of that time still haunts me. My poor dear Lucy, I murdered her. You didn't murder her. Dracula took her away from you. From us. Oh, you moved on. I cannot. Lucy was the love of my life. Moved on? Do you think we are not all haunted by memories of the past? Look, come to my home. Speak to Van Helsing. Lucy still won't forgive me. Now please, Jack, I cannot face that again. Give my blessings to your wife and dear Mina. Forgive me, I cannot. <clears throat> to be truthful, I can't feel anger towards Arthur. He's lost so much. So our brave man must meet once again without Arthur. and Jack, and sorting this problem out once and for all. I do love my husband, yet I am torn between him and Dracula. Jonathan offers me everything I could wish for, a stable home, a wonderful son, and a good life. And Dracula offers me life eternal and undying beauty. But he is evil, so why am I drawn to him? Is it that my soul has been tainted and can never be free? For your mother's sake, don't go. Young hair, don't go. <coughs> They're meeting again, you know. The brave band of heroes. Then why aren't you with them? If it wasn't for you, they would have failed last time. You were the first to draw blood. Did you taste my blood as it spurted out of my chest? Did you cry as you thrust that stake into my heart? I waited for you, you know. We could have been together for all eternity. You could have lain in my arms as we watched the stars. 
But you had to listen to that old man. Who's to say that he was right? Oh, Lucy, please forgive me. I was weak. I never wanted to hurt you. But the children... <laughs> the children? They were nothing. Urchins left to wander. But I was alive. I never felt so alive. You could have shared that, Arthur. Not like that. The girl I knew, I loved, died long before placed a stake in her heart. You will have her, you know. Who? Mina. The blood is the life. And his blood flows through her veins as it did mine. He will call her. And she will come. But he's dead. We also infringe to dust. Don't you think he could turn himself into dust? More than flesh and bone. We're dust. We are eternal. Are you still living? Or are you a figment? We are dust. Miss. We are eternal. Mina is in danger. Meadows, reach my feet! My friends, it is good that we meet up once again. I just wish it were under happier circumstances. Did we indeed destroy the Count? Since that time, I have spent hours studying manuscripts and books by all the noted scholars. And I feel, my friends, we did not. But we saw him turn into dust! Friend John. You have said to me that you have had bad feelings lately, have you not? Mina has begun sleepwalking. It is like Lucy, or how she described Lucy sleepwalking. I've heard her mention his name in her sleep. She does not know I've heard him. It worries me so. Then my fears are real. We must prepare once more to face the evil. My master is alive and calls for you to come to him. Mina, Anna, it is time. You must come with me now. Who are you? What are you doing here? Anna? Anna! Mina, come. I command you. I am calling you. Come to me and be mine. Master, I have done all you wish. Now we are coming to you. <laughs> so, we are agreed that action must be taken. We must go back to Transylvania and uh, see that Dracula is vanquished. But, Professor, why didn't nothing happen the last time we were there? Ah, it's a good question. I think it is this, that although we did not kill the, the vampire, we did weaken him. Weaken him to such an extent that, like all creatures, he must recuperate. He has had plenty of time for that. Excuse me. Mina! Where is Mina? Well, she's in the drawing room with my wife. Why? Oh, I've been in great danger. Mina! Mina, where are you? Anna! My God, he's taken Anna! Oh, gentlemen, we must prepare now. Time is uh, of the essence. Is there anywhere near here that they could have gone to ground? Well, there's been no new people in the area. Remembering that Dracula had sought out places to secure his coffins previously, I consulted Mrs. Bloxham as to the chance that he bought boxes from somewhere else. Now you come to mention it, my old man did make a delivery to Rochester recently. He said it was to the cathedral. The cathedral, you say? Yes, he had orders to deliver a box to the back of the cathedral. What type of box? Just a small box. Not like the others he delivered last time. Was there anything else delivered? Nothing else, just the box. It said it gave the old man the creeps delivering it that time of night. It's a real creepy place. And it made the air on the back of his head stand right up. Well, did you see anyone? No, nobody. His orders was to deliver the box to the back of the cathedral and it would be picked up from there. 
But now, dear, you'll have to excuse me. I've got to go and get his tea on, and we're having tripe and onions. Oh, we do love his tripe and onions. Goodbye, dear. Goodbye. With this newfound knowledge, I rushed back to Rochester. The Cathedral! Jonathan! Jack! I'm so sorry I did not get here sooner. Well, what made you change your mind? It was Lucy. I know it sounds bad, and I feel like I'm insane for saying it. But Lucy visited me last night, and she said that Dracula would take me now. Gentlemen, we must hurry to our appointed tasks. The devil has taken dear Mina and Anna. There is no time to lose. Their very souls are in jeopardy. Having secured a key to the crypt, we entered cautiously. The air and atmosphere was cloying. You could sense that something had indeed been here. No boxes. No sign of Dracula, Mina, or my wife. Failing to find Dracula's lair. We made plans to travel to the coast, then on to Europe, and then follow on the hills of Dracula, back to his castle. Are all the arrangements made? Yes, miss. Your rooms are prepared, and as requested, you and your companions will not be disturbed. Our meals are to be left outside of our room. Yes, everything is as you wish. We departed from Dover and set sail on what began as a beautiful day. Yet within hours, fog descended.